we have a group of footballers um, at all levels, from beginners to elite. So we have very raw footballers and very raw athletes. Elbows back, sleepy, up tall. It's actually looking at um, sprint technique, looking at strength, looking at conditioning, looking at core strength, looking at the athlete as a whole. That's consistent with the way you're running this, okay? Try and roll them in. Aussie, stay up tall. Okay, swap legs. We do a five or six week block at the start of the year during pre-season um, and the boys are working on the, the core fundamental, I guess, movement patterns. Um, a lot of them come to us, they're very talented footballers uh, with a lot of potential but their, their basic technique is, is not what it could be. As soon as you stick your chin out when you run, your backside comes out. Our main aim is to get the boys ready for TAC Cup football to perform well there and hopefully give themselves a chance of getting drafted. We also look at trying to develop the other students in the program. Okay, so you see how strong this exercise is. You can go to the gym and you can do 100 leg presses, but it's functional stuff like this that you're going to get a lot, the most benefit from. A lot of things like, have been surprising, especially with all the stretching that we do in the start. There's stretches that I've never done before that have made me feel a lot better after I finish training and while I'm doing it. All right, so off you go. Good, good. Well, I think I've improved my footy because um, it develops my leap. And as a ruckman, I need that leap to be up there. And, uh, it just develops my posture. So when I run around, I run around my full height, not bending down and losing a few centimetres. Every drill that you do is an exaggerated movement of what we're trying to achieve. In this case, we're trying to achieve, for you guys, good technique. Doing repetitious running and, and, and repetitious sprinting, repetitious dis distance work is not going to improve speed. Strength and technique are going to improve speed. There's four basic patterns of movement that are used and a combination of those patterns of movement are used in every drill and every strength exercise. Kicks out of the four principles of sprinting which we've reviewed, okay, we use, we grow up, we run from the ground, we use our arms and we use our axes for this one. Learning all the technique gives us a booster on a lot of other people like which are just doing local training when we get professional. So it's a range of different activities, running, jumping, um, static holds Good. to try and develop those basic movement patterns which they can then transfer onto the football field. They come back about mid-season to see us. Okay, these boys are tired. They've they've been playing sometimes in some cases two three games of footy a week, as well as training. Um, so we, we we basically transfer land training into the pool. Push your heel. And Sonia, and in some cases some of her um, undergrad students come along and teach the the technique for deep water running. So they'll put on flotation belts, um, so they're able to to float in the deep water, but they're really trying to mimic the, the running action, the running technique and still get the same workout that you would in a running session without the wear and tear on the joints. 10 seconds to go, 10 seconds to go, come on. Yeah, I always wanted to play AFL football. Uh, I was lucky enough to go through my juniors and get scouted to the Calder Cannons and I decided that I wanted to go to Essendon Keele College to do the football Four, program. Three, two, one, you're done. Fantastic, good work. Uh, when I got there, it was, you know, great. Like there were so many things I could learn. Like I see the boys out the back here doing their pool sessions, and you know, it reminds me back when I did it. I used to uh, maybe muck around a little bit, but once I got to AFL level, I realised how much it helped me. 1999 was when the football program was introduced in conjunction with the Calder Cannons and the Western Jets. We've had 22 players drafted or rookie listed to the AFL in that time, which is comparable with any school in Australia, as I understand. But there's also a lot of kids that are just playing local football at the time that we find them. And, you know, we've been able to provide the VFL with a lot of uh, good players over the years in addition to those 22. And we've also sent a lot of students back to their local clubs, uh, you know, vastly improved. This program has given me the edge. And I think every AFL footballer needs an edge over the next person to get themselves further. And, I played two games this year and I think it's what I did with this school has taken me a long way to getting those two games. A footballer needs to be an athlete before they are a footballer. 
the philosophy behind the coaching is you can develop a skill to a certain level but without a high level of athleticism that skill will only go so far.